Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Adri Maji. I am happy to release my new tool for After Effects called AE Autoplay, which is used to do automate the process in After Effects with the help of script driven by a text file. What is it all means? So let me explain. So we have a project file. Let me open it. That is it. The project file is fairly simple. One composition within the comp. There's a text layer. So come to the script. The scripting has four different parts. In the first part, the script read the data in the text file and store it in a data variable and close it. On next part, it actually opens up the project file in After Effects. I just manually open the project file just to show how the project is set up. But you don't have to open uh, the project file manually by yourself. If you put your code to open the project file and on next part uh, the project file content will be read by the script means the composition item will be read to will be stored to a uh, comp variable and comp name changed to the data which is available inside here and the text value source text also saved to the data then the fourth part the changed content will be rendered out in the folder where the project file already exists. So this is the script does. So let me run the script once. I just closed the existing project because the project will be opened by the script. So let me run the script. Script and open and wait for a while. The script does all the job. So the output is available here if you play it the rendered output have the one which is available here if you want to change something and save it and close it if you want to uh, render this out you uh, again need to open After Effects and close the project and run the script again run, run it So another rendered output available here if you play it you can see two is here and file name is changed to two because of the script so every time you change the content you need to open the after effects and run the script and close it this is what you have to do every time if you want to change the data this is where the AE autoplay comes in so let me delete all this thing which is created by the script reset it to one or something else close it so in this case you don't need to open after effects at all just close it run a autoplay and there will be a pop-up so in here you need to type the drive where your after effects exist uh, in my case I, I did it installed, installed my after effects in C drive it's in my D drive so I put D and press enter it will collect all the After Effects uh, instance uh, installed in the D drive so I have 2020 and 2022 so I need to type which After Effects I want to choose which is 2 right now I want to use 2022 so I type 2 and press enter so these process need user interface uh, specifically for this project uh, we can run this without uh, UI and with the UI also for the purpose of tutorial I'm putting yes here so I want to you I want to show the UI and at the end of uh, the run I need to close my after effects yes and we need to type the exact same name of the script uh, and with the extension here so let me show the details and script here I need to type scrapt.jsx the script is currently does, uh, is not uh, encrypted if it's encrypted it will be in jsx.bin I mean script.jsx bin so it is just script.jsx press enter and it will ask you for the data file name which is data.txt and once you press enter
it automatically opens up the after effects <coughs> and as you can see at the top it is processing right now so it's rendering and once the render finishes you can see the output here and it's here so it is actually waiting so if you change anything inside the text layer to save as soon as I save this data text it actually runs up after effects again and render the new content to, to a new file and close the after effects so you can see here so one more time I am changing it changing it and save it as soon as I hit the save Ctrl S it again runs it so you can see the script actually produced two output as far as now so once it finished the next render it will produce another number three so we have done three outputs from this thing so this is what it does so let me close this uh, window if you close this window and change anything in the text file it won't uh, run after effects you need to keep this window open to automate the process so let me finish it right now and change it to one again or something else new and delete all this content so again run the same file and in this time I am going to take same uh, after effects version number two and in this time I'm I'm not gonna use any user interface so this particular project and particular script doesn't need any user interface the, this doesn't have any alert or it doesn't use any uh, find uh, execute command IDs so we can use it without a uh, interface so I press this process need user interface no it doesn't need any user interface as you can see there are some limitation uh, for scripting so keep that in mind when you run without a script uh, without a UI so script dot jsx and data dot txt if you press enter right now it process already started with no user interface it is processing right now as you can see the new file will be created without opening after effects and if you change something uh, old and as soon as I save this content you can see it's processing again and we have to wait for a while there is no UI for after effects and the old text will be rendered here so this is how it goes and now it's waiting so whenever it says waiting that's the time to change the text file you don't have to change the text file while it's processing so that's what uh, it does that's what this tool do so there are few limitations uh, this uh, tool cannot be used in Mac OS I'm sorry for that and one more thing you have to keep that in mind is to keep that data.txt and script file at the same folder where AE autoplay exists and that's it guys you are free to use this tool in your personal and commercial projects the download link in the description go ahead and get your copy I hope you like this tool and enjoyed the video please hit the like button if you like it if you don't hit the dislike button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for further notification